Do you have a quilter or sewer in your life? Well, one thing we all have in common is that we collect stuff to do with our craft. Some of it we use a lot, some of it clutters our space. So what do you get them as a gift? Here is a list of 10 items that anyone that owns a sewing machine can use. So stick with me and I'll show you how to do it. Hi there, I'm Karen Brown of Just Get It Done Quilts. I give you tips, tricks, and strategies to help you make the quilt that you wanna make. The holiday season is not what it used to be. When I was a child, Christmas was one of the few times of the year when I received new things. These days, we have almost everything we need and when we want it. So when you ask someone, what do they want for Christmas, it's almost always a shrug. Here are 10 gifts that you can't go wrong with for the quilter or sewer in your life. If that special person in your life is a new sewer or quilter, you cannot go wrong with a good pair of scissors. If you invest in quality, they are going to last for years. There is nothing more thrilling than cutting through fabric and be able to cut right to the very tip. And like screwdrivers, you're going to need more than one pair. There is the large shear, then there's the serrated version for cutting through fabric like wool, silk, or double gauze. The embroidery, the narrow points will get into the smallest cracks, and the snips for trimming the millions of threads that every project has. And if your special person is left-handed, there's also good left-handed scissors out there. If your special person is an experienced quilter, chances are they already have several pairs. So in that case, Give them a certificate to a local sharpener. Better yet, you take them and get them sharpened and save them the hassle. By the way, I'm gonna put the links to everything that I can down in the notes. The links are not sponsored, they're just there to make your life easy. You should change your sewing machine needle after every eight hours of sewing, but often we don't. Sharp needles are an important part of sewing, but there's no bling factor associated with needles. So we rather spend our money on fabric and we really hesitate about changing our needle when we only have one needle left. So the gift of a stack of needles would be very nice. That way we can change them frequently without worry. You can't go wrong with an 80 universal or an 80 quilting, but you can also throw in a couple of 70s or 90s. If we are miserly with our needles, we are even worse with our rotary blades. There's that special moment when the rotary blade is fresh and it cuts through fabric like butter, but it's downhill from there. And we try to make them last as long as possible, long after they should be changed. So do that someone special a favor and buy them a stack of rotary blades. They come in several sizes, so be sure to get the correct size. They will thank you every single time they change the blade. We consume so much thread when we sew. We sew seams, we top stitch, we quilt, we bind, and our results are so much better if we have a good quality thread. My favorite is Aurifil, but that's not the only brand I use. Look for a 50 weight thread. They come in sets or individually, and you can't go wrong with white, beige, gray, or black. But since it's the festive season, you might wanna go for something more colorful. When we are making quilts, we need batting. There are so many quilt tops just waiting for us to afford the batting to make them into quilts. So you can't really get this one wrong. No matter what size you buy or what type of batting you buy, eventually it will all get used as a whole piece or we'll cut it down to the sizes that we do need. We spend a lot of time sitting on our bottom. So it makes a big difference if it's well supported with a good seat cushion. I use one from Vigorous. He makes them for racing car drivers and pilots. A bonus of having it as a separate piece like this is that I can use it as a kneeling pad when I have to get down on the floor. I know this sounds very geriatric, but stick with me. Well, long arming or a day at the quilt show or doing a shop hop or even days when I'm just standing and doing a lot of cutting, I will wear these socks and it makes a difference at the end of the day in my knees, in my ankles, and therefore in my attitude. And nowadays they come in so many fun colors and styles. I also use them when I run or when I travel on airplanes. I know that if you use them once, you're gonna be writing me saying, how did I wait so long? 
As a subscriber reminded me after my video on sewing straight, it's a lot easier to do it right if you can see your work. And most sewing machine room light just isn't good enough. We're often in basements or in corners of rooms with no natural light. Some people sew in cupboards. So a really good sewing light is appreciated. Mine is flexible and rotate. It also has several settings on it, but honestly, my room is so dark, I only use it on high. You can also buy little stick-on LED lights to put underneath your harp or get a standing light for people that do a lot of hand sewing or a travel one for the on the road kit. Chances are the local sewing center gives classes. So purchase a gift certificate that they can use towards one. Or maybe they'll just choose to buy fabric or perhaps purchase the membership for them at a local guild so that they can make new friends. They might be nervous about joining, but a paid membership will give them the push that they need. I also know several people that every year they purchase a membership, their friend or their sister. That way they have a regular outing every single month. You can also give a gift card to one of the big box stores so that special someone can take advantage of the big coupon days to buy those big ticket purchases. Quilting and sewing books are great to have around. They're part instruction, part inspiration, part coffee table book. And next year, as part of my channel, I'm starting a book club, a quilting book club. So I will be reviewing quilting books and talking about their projects. And the first one will be Gemology by Andrea Sang Jackson. It's all about color, shape, and paper piecing. So I hope you'll join me. There are many other things that sewers need. Quilting mats, irons, rulers, and especially fabric, which depend on their time, their space, and their personal taste. So their needs are gonna be quite specific in this area, so it's best to ask first. Personally, there's no way that my husband or my family knows what I want or need in regards to quilting. So I make a list in a variety of price points. I provide them with the links to where they can buy it, and I send it out in an email to them all. And I'll be honest, there have been times when I have just bought it myself, like a specific template set from Paper Pieces, and I passed it to my husband for him to wrap and put under the tree. The look on his face was as if I had handed him a fluffy pink grenade. So I knew he would have never been able to navigate the purchase on his own, even if I had dropped a heavy hint. As I said, gift giving is different these days. It was still a win-win. So I hope this helps you with your holiday shopping. And if you are a quilter or a sewer yourself, maybe you share this video with the friends and family in your life. The best gift you can give me is subscribing. I'm so close to 100,000 subscribers and then YouTube will give me a special plot. I would really appreciate your support. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button down below. If you are thinking of making some last minute gifts, check out my video on seven fast and easy gifts with clothesline rope. I have links to all the gifts I've mentioned down below in the notes and I'll get a blog post up on my website. You can check out too at just JustGetItDoneQuilts.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest at Just Get It Done Quilt. So take care and I'll see you next time.